Hi, Mr. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing fine. How about you? I mean, it's the morning. I don't really like mornings, but <laughs> I'm happy to be alive. I'm grateful to be here. That's the, literally, how old are you? I'm 13 years old. That's exactly where you're supposed to be. Like, <laughs> I, ha I hated mornings, too. I think until I was 30, in my late 30s, actually. <laughs> and, you know, you learn a lot along the way. And it sounds like, Lonnie, that you learned a lot from David working on this film. Will you tell me about that? Well, first, I want to say you think it would be hard for someone who's not only an actor and a director of a movie, especially on their first director debut, Mr. David, because of how many things they have to control. But Mr. David never bumped a transition. I mean, he made it look like a walk in the park throughout the whole entire set of the movie. And honestly, it was such it was such a pleasure to work with him. I feel so grateful. I have to say, Lonnie, I was looking into your anti-bullying campaign, uh, Fix Your Heart, and I was wondering if you would talk about it because I am so swept away with it and I would love to hear you explain why you started this. Sure. Um, <clears throat> well, Fix Your Heart is an anti-bullying campaign that I created with my mom after being told online and offline that I need to fix my gap that I had in my teeth. And I said, braces can fix this, but can you fix your heart though? So we created Fix Your Heart TV, where I bring on people to talk about their experiences and hopefully change other people's perspectives to be kinder people. And we created a clothing line because I love fashion and part of the proceeds goes back to Fix Your Heart TV and other inspiring charities that I believe in. Um, do you mean this? Because I'm holding it because I got oh, a box. Oh, you have one, yeah. Oh yeah, I got a box of of swag and I want to wear it so <laughs> proudly. I, I have oh to tell God. you, I'm not kidding. I, I, I love the message of this so much and I want to share it with my kids. And I just love your Fix Your Heart TV. You interview people about being kind. Um, and uh, David, you know, is it, would it be okay if you quickly interviewed uh, Lonnie and I both right now for uh, Fix Your Heart TV, would you be up for that? Yes, absolutely, I've got some prepared questions. Okay, here. perfect. When you realize you've hurt someone by your actions, how do you fix your heart? Well, you know, the whole purpose and the whole definition of Fix Your Heart is to have the accountability to correct your own actions and be better to others and mainly sometimes just yourself. And I mean, how do I fix my own heart? Have the accountability to say sorry. 100%. I, uh, I feel like that is probably where I hold myself the most accountable. I wish I had half, a quarter, 1% of the concern for myself that I do for others, which is probably a good start and maybe enough sometimes, but if I ever do things that I think don't feel right, uh, I, I really hold myself accountable. Um, Lonnie, would you like to extend the same questions to David, if you don't mind? Oh, a hundred percent. Let's go. <laughs> well, um, now you have both been in the business before the time of social media, unlike me. And social media has given canceling people a whole culture. Making mistakes are inevitable, though, because we are human, of course. So, Miss Drew. Do you worry about making a mistake and being canceled? Yeah. Um, I never want to say things or do things that hurts anybody um, because it's the last thing on earth I want to do. I don't want to affect other people negatively. David, what do you think? Gosh, it's a really great question. Um, I mean, first and foremost, you know, I do try to live by treat each others as you would like to be treated. Um, and so, you know, to have compassion, to have kindness, to have empathy um, is the way to lead, to understand, you know, and, and for me personally, as a black person, especially, you know, I know what it feels like to be willfully misunderstood, mistreated, uh, marginalized. And so I absolutely refuse to do that to another person. 
I think love, the definition of love is to put others before yourself. And if you're doing that, I think there's a real chance that you won't go hurting anyone, certainly not knowingly anyway. I love hearing that. And, you know, Lonnie, I want to thank you for coming on this show and allowing our show to jump into Fix Your Heart TV with David, because when I saw it and was pouring through it, I just fell in love with your mission. Thank you. Thank you for having Fix Your Heart TV on your show. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. And most importantly, to speak about your beautiful um, feature directorial debut and this gorgeous story that you're telling in The Waterman, David O. Yellow O. And Lonnie Chavis, thank you for bringing The Waterman, which is in theaters right now, to all of us and asking the questions that you asked. Thank you. Thanks for having us, Drew. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you.